you're videotaping yourself. I get it. Butt lovers. Welcome to the latest episode of Arts and Crafts. It's always so messy here. Last episode I turned into Chuck the Evil Sandwich Making Guy. I'm a big fan of the theory that cringe is dead. I've also turned into Ugly Sonic. How many times do you think Ugly Sonic's been divorced? I've done lots of butts related arts and crafts, but today we are painting weird dreams on jeans and telling you what they mean. Full blown pair of pants, no shorts. I know how some of you guys have a problem with the shorts. <laughs> Speaking of which, another quick announcement before we continue. I have a playlist called Chaos where it's just my long form content, no shorts to interrupt it. And since I just have way, way, way too many videos on this channel, I've also separated it into categories. For those of you who are shorts lovers, I have playlists for the shorts. I know most of you are here for the lore. But how about the lore of your dreams? Not that I'm an expert or anything, but this is also not my first rodeo. I made these pants, which I call Sky to See and everything in between, and I also have my socials on my butt. We have 20 glorious dreams to paint and analyze today from my community tab, from my TikTok, from my Instagram. Hey guys, I have an Instagram, but however will we choose the order. I get so emotional, baby. Okay, but the first two are gonna be mine because it's my channel. Okay, so the first dream is one I had when I was little, and it's that a goose was rampaging through my backyard, but it was giant, like it was the size of a skyscraper, and it was trying to take a giant shit on me. And I think the metaphor couldn't be clearer. The goose is, of course, say it with me, life. Because life's always going to try and take a big old crap on you. Before I start this, have you guys ever seen a goose's tongue? It has fucking teeth on it. These things, people people make fun, but they're freaky. They're like little dinosaurs, and I, I kind of am scared of them. That is fucking creepy as hell. That is creepy as hell, and it's coming from my crotch. Very creepy. That's how I see geese. That's how geese are to me. I wish I didn't add that arrow there. I wish there was a way to take that away. They don't need to know that he produces it. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. Like a YouTube thumbnail arrow. You'll never guess what he made. <laughs> a shit. Wow, that was a terrifying way to start for no reason. One more of my dream before we get to your wild ones. This is another childhood one I had on the exact opposite side of the spectrum. It's very happy, it's very joyous, and I've desperately tried to have dreams like this again. Oh, boo -hoo. let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Anyway, it's a giant bounce castle, and you get through an obstacle course, and then you go through this door, and it's this hallway of different rooms in this bounce castle, and one, you open it up, and it's snowball fighting, but with ice cream, and one's swimming in melted chocolate. It's like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory if it wasn't run by an actual criminal. And what this dream says about me is that I want to be the next Guy Fieri. Everything I do is for sweet, sweet treats in my mouth. All right, first dream we're gonna draw. I have so many dreams. Me too. First, I had a dream where I was riding a giant tortoise and that was like it. You wrote another dream here, but that's the one I want to focus on because that just sounds like Studio Ghibli. That sounds amazing. Also, if you have a dream about riding on a giant tortoise, what that says about you is you're really good with going with the flow. The pace you're going at is perfect. You're in no rush. And we can all learn something from a little story called, I'm not sure if you heard of it, the tortoise and the hare. This guy's mind is over here being blown. Meanwhile, this dude's just chilling. He, he doesn't even know that this dude's on his back. I underestimated how much time it takes to paint and how not good at painting. I am. I guess that's why we call this arts and crafts. I had a dream where Ronald McDonald took me to a library with every book ever on a date and he gave me a delicate kiss. This is a warning. Don't fall for a clown. Let me define a clown. A clown is the kind of guy to have 10 million followers and have an affair with somebody and then take them to somewhere as public as, I don't know, let's say a Harry Styles concert. Or B, ask for a Happy Meal because you're never too old for a Happy Meal. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -bitch. Here's one of my tamer dreams. It was a dream where I was helping a lady give a horse treatment or something, and I was like petting it and talking to it, and the lady was like, what are you doing? And I said, he saw you arrive on a hoverboard, he wants to fly. Please note that the horse lady got here by riding one of five massive hairy chimps moving like gorillas. There's layers here. Do you see yourself 
as that horse that wants to fly. Maybe you are limiting yourself to what you think is possible, like, oh, I'm a horse, I can't fly. But need I remind you of the f***ing Pegasi? Follow your heart, follow your truth, and don't be intimidated. Just do the things you have to do. I keep accidentally dropping bars. Have yeah. you ever seen somebody actually use a hoverboard? I've never seen one in real life. It's like a less sexy segue. I never even thought they were futuristic. It was like a Roomba you just stand on. I just realized the placement of the horse on the hoverboard is really unfortunate because it looks like Ronald's about to get freaky with it. This one's from Instagram. I had a dream that I died and a praying mantis was God. That one was cool. Praying mantis, that's just that's just clever wordplay on your brain's part. This dream means you're gonna start a cult that'll probably join. A weird dream I had was I was playing Mario Party and everything was normal except Waluigi was now called Fat Pants Richard and he just had very big overalls. That is hysterically laughing off camera. Make that like a wrestler name. Do something with that. Keep that idea in your back pocket and get ready to whip it out. Rephrase. Just get ready to use Fat Pants Richard. No, um... <laughs> Pants Richard, the wiener. My dreams are always story-like, but in short, there was a guy who could turn into a butterfly and a nerdy girl. They merged and she gained butterfly powers. Then the dream cuts to them running in a field for some reason. It was like a training montage. I love non sequitur dreams. Also, this seems like an anime. For shits and giggles, I looked up butterfly girl anime and I found something that makes even less sense than the dream. In Yadamon, the titular heroine does something a little different. Yadamon is a young witch with quite a few eccentricities. Her hair can transform into butterfly wings. She could ride on a vacuum cleaner and her mentor is a talking manatee. Where can I watch this? It's a real like Hannah Montana moment. You get the best of both worlds. Fly up to the sky, then get really shy. I would say look in the mirror and realize your full potential. ASMR, you're the purple jeans. And I'm painted on you. Close your eyes, shut your mouth. Dream a dream and get us out. Dream, 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 dream. Once I had a nightmare about one of those mall Easter bunnies, and it was pink, and it was trying to end me, and it was following me everywhere, and it was mad terrifying. It's not scary to hear about, though. I'm not shaking in my boots, I'm sorry to say. And I'd love to know what this means about me. I know exactly what it means about you. I have a feeling, maybe I'm completely off base here, I'm not an expert, but I feel like you stress out about the holidays. It's big, scary, and pink! Once I had a dream I was a ghost and it was my birthday and I was gifted a hundred PB&Js stacked on each other on a plate. Um, excuse me, what you just described is heaven? Yeah, what this dream means is you are a person of taste. If I could have peanut butter and jellies for every single meal, I wouldn't. But if I had to choose one thing, dude, PB&Js, absolutely. I was naked in Walmart, then arrested. I love how this reads. It sounds like that's more of a confession than a dream. I know that like those naked dreams are really common. I think it's because people feel very vulnerable. I think this is a big old FU capitalism message. There are no billionaires that actually creep me out more than the Walmart family. They've been sliding under the radar for far too long. I like the idea that they're completely naked, but they're still wearing shoes. Cause you don't know what you're gonna find in a Walmart or a Walmart parking lot. Like be safe. In one weird dream, I got possessed by a hermit crab because it had so many eyes and I got freaked out dropping it wrong and it died. Another time I was Spider-Man, but some policeman accused me of being a furry. But it's okay, because I was also dating Nancy Wheeler from Stranger Things. Okay, flex. I'm gonna do the Spider-Man one, because that's funny. Spider-Man being a furry? Would it be called furry if he dressed up like a spider? You are very secure in yourself. You have a lot of self-confidence. You won't let somebody spread rumors and falsehoods about you. A few weeks ago, I dreamt that I was going to a Build-A-Bear, but needed an ID to build a bear and make one because you would need a background check to adopt them and fill out paperwork or something. I was upset about it, either because I didn't have my ID on me, or I just didn't like to think of the hassle I would have to go through to get a Build-A-Bear. You know what this says about you? You don't take the process of adoption seriously. What if you're like a Sid from Toy Story type, all right? These background checks are necessary. And quite frankly, Julie, I think it, it's, it's quite disgusting that you would question the system like that. Another one from Instagram. I had a dream I had a life and family with John Cena, and we had a pig named Cannibal that we fed bacon. Now, aside from this being disgusting, I see right through you. He says you can't see me, 
So you think that we can't see the crimes you're committing? I'm calling PETA. My phone deleted the recording of me painting this. Well played, John Cena. We stopped at Burger King for lunch and we were eating inside. I ordered a chicken sandwich. Right as I was about to take a bite, a bunch of paramedics rushed into the place and started doing CPR on my chicken sandwich, trying to revive the chicken. It was weird because the chicken sandwich actually did start coming back alive, but it was breathing like it was having an asthma attack. Probably because it was coming back to life, it was being revived. And I could hear its heartbeat. To this day, I have a hard time eating chicken sandwiches because of how intense that dream was. And I have a perfectly good explanation as to why you had this dream. It's because Burger King got rid of the chicken sandwich and replaced it with a mediocre chicken sandwich. So those paramedics coming in to revive the Burger King chicken sandwich because they need to breathe new life into their fucking menu options. I had a dream where I was chilling in the bath fully clothed when all of a sudden the entire cast of Sesame Street showed up. I feel like this is longing for childhood, but also fear of children. Yeah, more so fear of children. You're scared of children. I don't know if this falls into the category of scary, but I had a dream where a ghost had been haunting my house, but it turned out to be a giant bug-like cryptic monster. It looked like a cockroach. Of course I was afraid at first, but then it started talking to me and we quickly became buddies. It said it knew some other nice cryptid guys who would make fine monster boy friend for me. And my last thought was, oh no, I have to tell that I'm a lesbian. I hope it's not homophobic. And then I woke up. Weirdest part of it is that I woke up sad that I didn't actually have a friend, a giant bug cryptid. I love this. I want to watch a show about it. I think this just shows that you see the beauty with it. I have no doubt that that cockroach was an ally, if not, um, as well. You know, I had a dream where I was at another town for school when reports of people being struck down by lightning came around. People reported hearing messages from God saying he was going to smite all the sinners. I am told to walk to the bus through newly developed rainfall. Hmm. I was given a handheld fan and something else and was told to walk forward and keep my head straight in a line. What does this mean help? I sense a big mistrust and also fear of religion. Maybe I'm completely off base. The whole like God saying he was going to smite all the sinners. That's scary as shit. <laughs> like that's really scary. And the fact that people are like, ah, oh, go out. It's fine. It reminds me of all anti-masker people. I'm not going to let this God smiting me with lightning thing get me down. I'm still gonna go out and have fun. I think it's I think it's a bit of a lot of different forces kind of combining in your mind. My weirdest dream was that I was in school, but it was like flooded. Like everyone was underwater, but nobody gave a shit. These are my least favorite kinds of dreams. One time I had a dream where my dog was like really close to a tiger and my family was just like, well, circle of life. And I was the only one screaming and crying. I hate dreams where everyone else gaslights you like, yep, yeah, this is the way things have always been. I think this points to a mistrust of people and I understand. Okay. For one of my weirdest dreams, I got eaten by a dog while being rickrolled after performing the entirety of a musical in an Olympic swimming pool for a school assignment. I don't know what that means. I think I thought if I selected this for the video, as I was reading out loud, it would come to me. So the order of events that happened was you performed the entirety of a musical in a swimming pool for a school assignment. Then after, I guess, you got out of the swimming pool, you got eaten by a dog. Was the dog singing Rick Astley? The meaning of this dream is, ah! You wouldn't get this from any other guy. Yeah, I'm singing it as I'm drawing it. I feel like you just said Rick Astley so you can Rick roll me. You're too shy to sing. Witness the power of the dream jeans. These took me four hours, and I don't want to hear anybody in the comments saying, oh, this was painful for me to watch as an artist, as an art major. The series is called Arts and Craps. I just took a stinky crap all over these jeans. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Which one is your favorite? Which dream is your favorite? Leave some creepy, scary, kooky, mystical dreams in the comments. Have a great day, butt lovers. <laughs> Bye!